Welcome to another edition of Damn TV with Damn Sam. Morning from Sheffield. Damn Sam here in my rubbers. And I'm not uh, in a, an SM type porno film. We're doing a basement. So uh, sorry to get your hopes up there. Uh, same house that we've been working on uh, and I did other videos from. Uh, we, we're digging out to put sump pump in. So yesterday we we took up brick on edge floor. It's all in here. And I'm going to be blocking that up uh, when we're finished. So uh, just a few things about this. So I'm just going to show you how you dig, dig out for a, um, a sump pump. So chamber's quite big. So it's a metre by a metre trench. And you go down in stages. So you've got, we've dug down here. Then I'll, I'll dig this bit of trench, which is a bit deeper. And then I'm going to nibble it off. Same depth, all the way along with a uh, grafter. Till it's, that, till it's all that depth. And then I'm going to start again. Another, another little hole. All the way down. So I'm trying to position this earlier on and... Uh, to get it so you can see where I'm going to be digging. Right, so I'm just going to show you how to do it a bit. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Right, 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 right there. No. I don't think I can even edit, edit this at all. It's a bit muddy, you see, it's not sticking in mud. Oh, my ears. I'll get it in a minute. Oh, I don't know. How can we do this? About here. That's it. So, nibble it a bit to the time with with it. So, problem turn, problem turn. And we're just shaving it a bit off. Down to the same depth, all the way up. And the thing is, with these cellars, you're sweating these cellars. It's a bit of a time off and a bit of a bit of a time off. And then what we'll do is every so often get a big shovel in and just shovel these off into the bucket. And then bucket upstairs. It's not a rocket science, but it's uh, but it works. What I want to show you as well is this. I'll sit down. I said five minutes. So this is this is wall, and this is footing what they used in olden days. So it's a brick on edge, sat on top of clay under there. Now, when you do a when you do a basement, you have to always dig test holes, and what you're measuring for is bottom at brick up to underside at joist. Now, building reg says that minimum height for a uh, Minimum height for a basement conversion is two meters when you get to the bottom of the stairs, because we're two meters uh, head height. So you measure, you, you dig your test hole, and if you've got clay, you measure your distance up, where you get your two meters, and that'll judge, uh, and that's from your finished floor height. So then you work out how thick your flooring is going to be. So you round about. 100 mil 
concrete slab, if that's what's if that's thickness that it's going to be, or um, if it's going to be 150, 150. So you've got your concrete slab, you've got insulation, whatever, whatever uh, measurement the building regs says you've got to put in. You've got membrane at 20mm, you've got um, whatever floor finish on top of that, so you can have a screed on top of that, might be 75mm, you can have um, a floating floor which would be 18mm um, or 22mm chipboard or, or whatever finishes you're going to be but you add them up and you take it off your, your height and that will tell you how far you've got to dig down um, and how, how far you've got to reinstating for the um, soil pipe and how far you can do reinstating. Now, if you've got to go down below here I mean, this is a metre strip, so if you're doing if you're doing underpinning, you're doing a metre strip, so, so I'm all right for today. So I'll do this, I'll dig this out, and this is going to get concreted in. So this will be all right, we're not undermining uh, foundations. But um, I've seen quite a few jobs where they've dug down and they've gone under, they've gone under um, footing, or they've gone straight down past um, footing at brick. Now, what they say is, if you leave a 45 degree angle at Earth, that should be all right to keep, uh, to carry stresses and forces from wall, a 45 degree angle. And that's what you work on. Um, but it's, again, it's a gray area. So um, the basic rule of thumb, if you've got to go down lower than footings, then um, you're gonna have to underpin wall. So that's just one tip for you. Um, and unfortunately this, uh, this basement is only gonna to have to be used for storage because um, I don't, well, you're not gonna get proper head height unless you're gonna underpin it all, which is gonna be for a, a four before room, it's gonna cost a fortune. Um, and it's all walls. So party wall is just onto clay. Um, and these two walls, supporting walls, have got are on a brick footing. So, um, so decisions to be made. I think um, once drainage is in, it's going to be a question of putting a membrane down and then putting a, a slab up at top and then just having it as a dry space for storage, which initially that's what they wanted. Um, but there's not going to be a source of moisture which will affect the rest of the house. So it's going to it's going to work in a way. Um, so. I hope you've learnt some it, and uh, like I said, it's not all surveying, there's a bit of labouring, um, and that's why it's a bespoke job. So that's Damp Sam signing off, I hope you're all safe and uh, stuck at home, um, you know, making sure you're not going out and that, because uh, you know, if you, unless you're a key worker, uh, just remember damp proofing is the 12th emergency service, so uh, when you see us, you know, buy us a cup of tea. Right, adios! Well, it's the end of the day, and we've got to. Uh, I've dug it all out, and James is uh, James is throwing it all in the skip. Um, putting concrete in tomorrow, and uh, we'll set it in place. We'll get pumps and that set up tomorrow as well, um, and we're going to put perimeter drainage channel around and then cut in. Um, and then top it up and then we're going to stick a membrane up at top of it stop any uh, any moisture eva evaporating up into the house um, and then they'll make a decision on what they want to do with um, with floor they'll probably have to just put a um, a 100 mil concrete screen up at top or slab up at top um, and then decide if they want to have walls done. So, uh, but that at least floor will be dry, drainage system will be in, they're not going to get standing water in. So, uh, so that's today's job sorted out. Um, 
Might see you up next time. ta -da. Thanks for watching another edition of Dam TV with Dam Sam. Please subscribe and please like the channel.